Hello and welcome back to Dot Hack Quarantine. I'm really in the shadows of this one here. You can hardly see Kite's face at all. Just some of his blue hair that sticks out. Uh, we don't actually need to be here at this server. We need to go to a, to the other server. So let's let's go here. That's what we were supposed to do last time. I'm just gonna continue my intro there. Because the lighting's good, apparently. <laughs> now I know what Instagram models go through. And we're back here to do a mission. To go check out a mysterious room. Ooh. Uh, I did some research into quarantine and found out that there are only two hidden areas here in quarantine to get items, um, which is surprising to me that there's only two because uh, there's like eight <laughs> in the last game. And for this one, they're like, we're gonna, we'll give them two. One for the, the DVD that you get with the game. Apparently there's something in there. And then one from an ad. So it's like, oh, all right. And I'm sure when we get near the uh, end of the game too, which I'm gonna be reading a bit of a head to just kinda know where I'm at. It Reading the guide makes it seem like this game is a lot shorter than it actually is. Like I'm pretty sure it's not that short a game, but it's like broken into three acts. And when you break it down to three acts like that, it makes it seem like a real short game. But it's like a lot of stuff between the, the three acts. So uh, let's continue on and go to that area and see this mysterious white room. Without further ado, let's go see the mysterious white room. Yeah, that's probably how I should have done that. All right, uh, we need to party up. We need to hang on. Hang on, real quick, because this has happened to us before. Screaming wind sans fate, what level are you? 70, okay, we're fine, we're good. Where we've been given a, an area to go and visit and it's like level 83. It's like, all right, no, we can't. That's too high for our current level. Party up. Who is our Lowe's? Sandro 705. Did we get Oak back? I don't think we did. No, we haven't gotten Oak back yet. 7.15, I think 7.05 still winning. 7.05 wins. Sandro, let's go! Oh, it's you! Wait just a minute! And... Seven eighteen. But I think there was somebody here. Seven fifteen. A blade master. Oh, Sandro was a heavy sword or a heavy arm, something like that. He was what? Uh, heavy blade. I like black rose. So yeah, we'll bring Rachel the blade master. Thanks for inviting me. Today I'll make a fortune. Someone's getting ahead of herself. Pretty sure he's not a blade master. Yeah, heavy blade. Thought so. What's here? You got a level 43 rare. It's level 70 armor. You're looking really fine. Really nice. I'm level 64. Got rising sun. Fire dragon. Level 60. I could do some better arms. Level 60. Maybe we can find someone where in the field. What do you use? The heavy stuff. Alright, you guys are both using the same type of armor, whereas I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna go check and see. I gotta do some inventory management a little bit here. We're gonna go check and see if there's anything in my... Um, what do you call it? <laughs> um, in my inventory that I have, my storage, that would be better for their weapons or armor. That's short of death. So I'll be right back. 
and we're back. All right, so that took a little longer than I thought because, well, it's a new game. Turns out the NPCs have updated their inventory and have a, a lot higher level items now. So I, of course, went through and uh, did some trading and we all got new weapons and new armor. And uh, I've even got some stuff kind of in my storage for whenever I invite party members who need particular weapons and stuff. Even went to the Grunties that are here and got a Silver Grunty and a Golden Grunty, which means that the special ones in the other areas also have their Silver and Golden Grunties back as well, and I'll have to go and trade them. But we'll, we can do that later. I can do that off recording. You'll just see me with higher SP and HP. But uh, we're, we're good to go, so let's let's get going. All right, Screaming Wind Sands Fate Castle. Area revealed by Spiritus, an inhabitant of Netslum. There's a mysterious room. So we're gonna Black warp Rose. here. Black Rose. Oh God, if he said her name one more time, she would have appeared. Which means I gotta bring her with us. So let's go ahead and remove Sandro. Thanks for everything. See you soon. I didn't realize I had to take Black Rose with me. Uh, Black Rose, Black Rose. There she is. I did all that trading too. Okay, here I come. I can get her like a better weapon, but like all the armor I just gave to Santoro. Um, crap. I gotta go get her that weapon. All right, let's try this again. Warp. It's protected. Here's hoping we have what's needed. Oh, we don't. We need G and J. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, uh, yeah, we've got the M, but we don't have enough G. We don't have enough J. How many do we need? I need two more G's and uh, two J's. Awesome. Are you all ready for a uh, virus core hunting? Because that's what we're about to do. All right, we're bringing Sandro back for this one because we are virus core hunting small monsters in this server. Then I gotta go to the Omega server and do the same thing. So let's get a random word. Chronicling Farewell Treasury. That'll work. It's an area. That's all that matters. Doesn't matter what level it is. We gotta data drain some small creatures up until we get to G virus cores. And then we can just back out and leave. I'm still gonna fairies orb. So this is how it'll work here. Instead of going to the first one, seeing the combat like I normally do, uh, you're just gonna see me data drain and get the two virus cores. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna speed through it. All right, well, the field was a bust. So now we're inside the dungeon and hopefully we'll find small monsters. We found medium and large. No smalls. Lots of large, too. Which weren't very difficult to dispatch. Everybody leveled up once. So, hey, getting some positive stuff out of it. But I would much rather just get my two and go. Hey, look at that. Walking around, trading. Here's me, Maru, just walking around. I'm just gonna talk to her. Your friend looks like me. Maybe I should have chosen vivid colors when I created this character. Yeah, A20 just keeps going with that insane plan of hers. Why doesn't she think about me? Don't you agree? Talk again? I guess it's not alright since the town is totally messed up. Oh, but is this caused by... Oh, sorry. Don't mind me. Oh, sorry. I got a mail, so I'll talk to you later. What? You're changing the meeting place again? 
What does she have to trade? Stone Bane, Water Bane, Tree Bane, Light Bane, Night Bane. Secret Might. Nice. And uh, Airy Ropes. What do you want for that? What can I possibly trade you? Would you like the food? No, I didn't think so. Beast. There you go. Okay. Think of water beast for a secret mic. Thank you, Mimaru. Crazy person. Just walking around, not able to get a member address so she can join me. Look, everybody, we found Bear. Now that we can't PK, this world has gotten much more peaceful. You could PK before. It was the worst when the Crimson Knights disbanded. If you're stuck, I'll help you. No, I guess this old guy is the one that's stuck. Sorry, it's about the real world. A deadline is close. I wonder what Tsukasa's doing now. Maybe we'll find him walking around here. Oh, it's a player that I know. There were a lot of things that happened. Oh, sorry. It's the ramblings of an old guy. Just ignore it. Well, later. Alright, that's all he says. What does he has? He has secret Ridkit. Physical defense, plus two. And then he's got all these different veins. In Sonic Gloves, which I don't care for, but the secret Ridkit. Physical defense plus two. Ooh, yeah. I wonder if they're all just wandering around here, just the ones that we've actually, you know, come across. A20, Bear, Emaru. All right, we're back. And uh, we're gonna try another area. This time I'm bringing Pyros and Wise Man with me. I had to go do their equipment stuff. And uh, look, uh, I, that <laughs> that we found. He gave it to Wise Man. It's got a little face on it. Did you see it? Did you see the little grinning face on it? It was great. And then uh, uh, that Thunder Daddy axe that we got for Pyros. I got him to equip that. I think that looks pretty cool. It's a nice looking axe. All right, then of iron weapons. Let's go see if we can go get ourselves some virus cores. Just need two. Two Gs. That's it. That's all we need. Random it. What do we got? A level 62 area, I'll take it. Quiet Survivor's Prairie. Here we go. Oh, pain in the ass. I hate this so much. Virus core hunting sucks. Oh, just want to continue the story. Let's try a new one. Uh, level 61, maybe. Discovered Half-Blood Haunted Land. It's level 61. Maybe we'll find some smaller creatures here. Oh boy, it's one of these. Well, that was a bust too, so let's try another one. It's at mid-50s. Here we go. Level 52, Unenduring, Satisfying Treasury. There we go, Virus Core G's from here at the main. Got our second G, we got the G's that we need. And we got six. That's good. Alright, J is the next one that we need. So we gotta go to servers. Change the servers. Gotta go to other 
sirs. Oh, the sir. Oh, I don't even know where to look for him here. I just know small monsters. All right, level 73 area with water. Let's go. Here's hoping we find small monsters. Looks like small monsters found us. You're not a small monster, you're a medium monster. Aquafield. And we're looking for wood maidens. did say I was going to release two videos today, and uh, I'm still going to do that. That's been about four, almost five hours, and two days since uh, recording this video. Spread across uh, multiple days, and uh, multiple hours trying to find virus cores. And although it tells me small monsters, it doesn't exactly break down like where I can find these monsters and what areas and things like that. The best thing to do when you don't know what to do, Google it. Look it up. I found a post from 13 years ago online on a dot .hacker web forum site. So like the board that's here in dot .hack where it actually gave me locations to go and what monsters to find. If I had done that in the very beginning, I wouldn't have wasted so much time. So, going forward, I think that's what I'm gonna do if I get lost. I mean, most of the time when I was doing this too, I was like, okay, this is gonna be no problem. I'm sure there's small monsters in every area. That's just what I thought. I was wrong. They're not in every area, which just sucks. And you get to one area, it's like nothing but medium and large monsters. You're data draining them left and right, and you're not getting the, the data cores that you need. And seeing as it's like the same monsters within a certain level group, it's not really so much the area that you're in as the level the field is, it's hard to determine. So I just wasted time when I should have just Googled everything and then found the areas to go to. Uh, I'll make sure to do that going forward. A part two is going to be coming out. It's going to come out uh, a little later in the day. I want to say maybe like afternoon time, maybe even a little after afternoon time. Two, three, uh, just depending on how long it takes for me to record and edit the video. Because it's one o'clock in the morning right now for me and I have to go edit this video I have to go edit five hours of video it'll probably be like three or four by the time I'm done to put together this video that I hopefully kept down to 30 minutes 30 40 minutes we'll see I'm sure a lot of it's getting cut out it's just gonna be chunks ripped apart from it and then uh, I'll 
do the other video where we're actually going to go to the location that we needed these virus cores for. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of Dunhack Quarantine. Bye.